All right, the number of blue crabs in the Chesapeake Bay actually estimated to be at its lowest point ever. That's upsetting to hear. Stetson Miller tells us why this might be happening and how it's affecting crab prices just in time for Memorial Day. The population of Maryland's favorite crustacean is lower than ever recorded, says the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. Not great news in this year's survey. The annual Baywide Blue Crab Winter Dredge Survey carried out by the department and the Virginia Institute of Marine Science estimates that there are now 227 million blue crabs in the bay. That's 55 million down from last year and the lowest in the survey's 33-year history. That in itself is concerning to us, but also we've seen a record low number of males this year and a continued three year trend of a low number of juveniles. Allison Colden, the Maryland senior fisheries scientist for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, says it's not a good trend, but says overfishing is not driving the decline. Maybe for other reasons like environmental factors. It's a some combination of a number of things. It could be loss of underwater grass habitat, which is extremely important. It could also be poor water quality and low oxygen conditions in the summertime. Prices will likely be high for crabs now, says Thomas McGinty of Cantler's Riverside Inn in Annapolis, but not much more than last year. And he says high gas prices are now a factor driving up the cost. We're starting to see deliveries that have a fuel surcharge on them because the price of gas is so high. And he's not too worried about the survey because he's seen low estimates in years past. 2014, they had a really, really low test, too. And then things kind of started to level out and bounce back the next year. And DNR will later provide guidance on a course of action to manage the blue crown population after they review the survey results. In Annapolis, Seth Miller for WJZ.